And so, my sisters and brothers, let us begin as we begin all things. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. We gather here today to celebrate the 15th Sunday of Ordinary Time. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first take a moment to call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And so let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth, to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for their faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, priest of Bethel, said to Amos, Off with you, visionary. Flee to the land of Judah. There, earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel. For it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to company of prophets. I was a shepherd and dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. The word of the Lord. Lord, let me see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits, our land shall yield its increase, justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, 
to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of God's grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions in accordance with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor that he set forth in him as a plan for the fulfillment in times to sum all things in Christ in heaven and on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two. He gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick. No food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, Leave there and shake the dust off your feet and testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they were anointed with oil, many who were sick, and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At Christ the King Parish, we're very fortunate to have a wonderful um, committee planning our parish picnic, which will take place on September 13th. I'm asking all of you uh, to please pray for good weather for that day. But it should be uh, a pretty spectacular event. And one of the reasons it'll be so special and so nice is because of the large number of people who are working on it, who are planning on uh, putting this wonderful day together for all of us. To begin with, we've got the Turnox and uh, the Lynches, who are serving as co-chairs of the Parish Picnic Committee. And then we have our number of different committee heads, people responsible for uh, planning games and activities for the kids, planning the food and uh, other kind of social activities for uh, the adults of the parish as well. It's many people... Uh, coming together. We're going to begin with an outdoor mass and uh, really just have some wonderful activities. It wouldn't be possible without many people coming together working towards uh, that common goal. It would be impossible uh, for just a very few people to put down, to put together an event uh, for all of us. Everybody has to come together. And that's really the success of any project. The success of any project is a number of people who are willing to come together to work towards that common goal and to be able to provide something that is truly wonderful. In today's gospel passage, Jesus was not only sending out the disciples two by two, but he was reminding them not to take a walking stick or money, not to bring a second tunic. They were to wear sandals, which was a sign of dignity and respect. But I think that Jesus was not only challenging them to trust in our God, who is always there for us in our time of need, 
but also to trust in others. He makes it very clear, whatever house welcomes you in, make sure that you stay there. That if our faith is going to be built up, it's going to be because we not only trust in God's love and God's providence, but also because we trust in each other, that we're working towards a common goal of spreading the good news of the gospel. Jesus was sending those disciples out two by two because he wanted them to have faith and trust in the people that they would meet along the way. I know that has certainly been the success of my life. There's been often times when I found myself in very difficult situations or um, uh, trying to solve or tackle very difficult problems. And the best solutions have always come when people are willing together to pitch in and to help out. That's a core component of the way that we are called to live our daily lives, to trust in God and trust in others. As we gather here today, we ask God to send people into our lives that can truly help us as we work together in whatever issue or problems or concerns we might we happen to be facing. But as we spread the good news of the gospel, as we strive to share our faith, let us do so knowing that we are in this together, our community of faith, our families, that we need to come together and let others know just how important it is to celebrate the sacraments, to welcome God into our hearts and into our lives. We have been truly blessed by to be a part of such a wonderful community, a community that values uh, the presence of God. We need to count on each other as we continue to bring others into God's presence and into God's love. And so now as a family of faith, I invite us to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and this kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so now I invite us to bring forth our prayers and petitions. For the church, may the Lord guide and strengthen our leaders as they share the good news through their words and service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all first responders, may they have the protection of St. Michael as they serve, protect, and heal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from any form of addiction, may the Holy Spirit guide them on a path of recovery and give them strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the youth in this faith community, may they grow ever deeper in their faith and desire for the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, we pray for their recovery in a special way for Megan Rhodes, Antoinette Barone, Marilyn Wahlberg, Mary Ahern, Gwen Henderson, John J. Heller Jr., Marin Rudick, Matt Taylor, Ruben Jagiri, Caitlin Thies, Mackenzie Pollock, 
Dick Murphy, Maureen Murphy, Ginger Rugai, Eva Kelly, Audrey Peoples, L. Amsler, Mike Engel, and those suffering from COVID, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all those who have died, that they may be received in the merciful embrace of our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now let us pray for our special intentions this weekend, and also in a special way for Edward O'Donnell, Ben and Anita Volker, and Michael Garvey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask you to hear the prayers of your faithful gathered here today, the prayers spoken aloud, and those that lie deep within our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed say you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons and formed us in your own image to set humanity over the whole world and all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, all the bishops, the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit, I invite you to extend a sign of peace to ever, whomever you happen to be near. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us stand and let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effect upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God, the Son, his blessing upon you. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God.